I'm a very bad person. Oh yes, oh yes you are, you are a very naughty girl. Oh yeah. I feel really badly because I didn't do a video last Tuesday and I always say I'll see you next Tuesday and sometimes it's a lie. Man, after this video, I'm gonna end up shitting Brits. I have voices in my head, they count for me, they understand. So anyway, it's O'Ship Brit here. Today I'm going to teach you how to teach boys not to rape. Next thing you're gonna tell us is that you have the key to immortality. A lot of times in feminism we hear, don't teach girls not to get raped, teach boys not to rape. We shouldn't be telling girls to hide away and not to dress in certain ways and not to walk in dark alleys and to keep an eye on our drinks and to carry keys between our fingers like we're goddamn Wolverine just so that a man won't rape us. And maybe those methods probably work, possibly, when you consider the fact that rape has gone down. Like, slowly, throughout history. So, the feminist alternative is to teach boys not to rape. But this sounds weird. On a surface level, n nobody's teaching boys to rape. Apparently, these people forgot to teach uh, boys not to rape. You know, we, we teach boys not to steal, not to kill. But we definitely don't teach boys not to rape. It's like, whoops! We must have forgotten to teach them not to to rape! We're total dumbasses! Rape is not socially acceptable. Nobody's saying, okay boys, now go rape some women. No, but what you're saying is that we as a society don't do a good enough job drilling into people's heads that rape is fucking wrong. Like, do you really think society is that fucking stupid? It doesn't matter if on the surface rape is not socially accepted, we still have a problem with rape. Even though rape has gone down considerably a lot. And please don't give me this one in five women, one in four women, one in three women statistic bullshit. Because I hate to break it to you, but that statistic is utter fucking bullshit. You act like every, like, one in three men are going to have this, you know, just this weird mental switch that just tells us we gotta rape, we gotta rape, we gotta rape, 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 that's all we think about. You, you, you're a special kind of stupid. We still have a problem with sexual assault. We still have a problem with men hitting on women at bars and not giving up even when the woman does not want to be hit on. Even though some women prefer to play hard to get. It happens! We have a problem with men not being able to take no for an answer. We have a problem with men groping women at parties and clubs and crowded spaces. We have a problem with cat calls. You have a problem with your daddy for not giving you that special fluffy unicorn that you wanted on your 12th birthday. We have a problem with street harassment. Even though a simple hello can be considered street harassment. We have a problem. So how do we teach boys not to rape? Three things. We need to teach boys to listen. We need to teach boys respect. We need to teach boys how to handle rejection. If it was that simple, then all we gotta do to teach thieves not to steal things is, you know, just go swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping, and they'll go like, oh man! So for number one, teaching boys to listen. Right now, we're teaching boys that they should keep going no matter what. Because if you don't succeed at first, try, try again. If they love a woman, or if they have interest in a woman, they should just be persistent as hell, and eventually they'll wear her down, and she will sleep with them, or marry them, or whatever. Even though that most men already know how to handle rejection. You know, you 
treat men like if we're big fucking man babies. Teach boys this lesson from when they're fucking tiny. The fuck was that? What, did you just swallow a fucking flute? Feep! Through like the princes and the knight in shining armors who go on their expeditions and they rescue the women and then the women are just supposed to be so grateful for that and it's never a question of if she finds him attractive or even likes his personality. And it's even though men need to do everything in their fucking powers to impress a woman, to prove himself to a woman that he is worthy to enter the cave known as your vagina. <laughs> you get to decide on when or whether or not that man gets to suck on your golden titties of doom. Not, it's not just like the prince-princess dynamic. Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother, he was all about just keeping at it with Robin and then eventually, years down the line after his f wife dies. What the f is wrong with you? Bam. They go on a date. The entire series. Because that woman decided to give him a chance. A chance to prove himself that he is worthy to enter her cave. Her wonderful, glorious cave. The entire series was about how she doesn't like him. Finally, they go on a date. Or Ross from Friends, he's this nerdy guy who just can't accept that Rachel doesn't like him. She doesn't like him. She never did. What's the moral of the story? If he's persistent enough, eventually, she will like him. Even though that people don't take advice from TV shows. TV shows that are meant to be funny. Think about that. Just recently, I watched an episode of Louie, which is usually a pretty good show, but it's with that woman, Pamela, who he's just in love with, and she's never liked him. And she keeps telling him, I don't like you, I don't want to date you, and then he basically, forcibly, with, with physical force, holds her in his apartment and forces her to kiss him. And then, even after that, when she barely kisses back at all, she says, I did not kiss you back, he is still persistent. And we get it, some people need to move on. But guess what, if this was to happen in real life, that guy could get arrested! About her going out with him. And then what's the moral of that story? She f***ing goes out with him. And there it is! There it is! Why? Why do you- Why do you swallow a fucking flute? What, were you fucking hungry? We need to stop teaching boys that that's gonna happen. Because apparently boys are that persistent. Every boy is that persistent. And this leads to rape. Somehow. Fuck you. Because it doesn't happen in real life. It doesn't. If a woman doesn't like you, she doesn't like you. Boys need to be taught to listen. Number two is respect. Okay, so now let's imagine we've got this all figured out. They've listened to body language. They're receptive to that. They, they know when it's not a yes. Sometimes boys are hearing it. They're just not respecting it. Those are the times that the cat callers go, oh, you're a stuck up bitch. Or that's the time, you know, that website straight white boys texting. O only straight white boys? Only straight white boys? You're a fucking you're a fucking racist. You 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 are a you're a racist. Where the boys saying all this shit like. And there you go again, placing this high pitched beep, whenever you curse. It, it sounds like you swallowed a fucking flute again. What the fuck is the point? If you're gonna curse, curse! I'm not afraid of cursing! Fuck! Shit! Asshole! If you're gonna curse, curse! Do it! Alright? Don't be a moron! Oh, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful, and then the woman rejects him, and then he responds, F*** you, I was just being nice. 
You're not that attractive, and I'm the last chance you ever had at sucking a dick. You can't call women bitches just because you don't like their answer. Just oh, the fucking horror of words. Say, okay, that's fine. There are other fish in the sea. And the third one is that we need to teach boys how to get over rejection. Women have this very stereotypical process of getting over rejection that we see in the media time and time again. It's ice cream, rom-coms, and venting to friends. Not every woman copes with rejection that way. But when it comes to men, you know, being so goddamn persistent in shows like Friends, some of them are gonna copy that ideology and be like, yeah, we gotta keep on doing it. We gotta keep on going. That's somehow true. But, you know, when it's all the way around, it's just not true. Not true. I am doing this as hard as I can. But we've been conditioned to know that sometimes we're going to have heartbreak and sometimes it just f takes a bowl of ice cream. Boy I wish I had a bucket of ice cream for me to eat right now because you are making me wish that I can adopt a fucking puppy, bring it in front of this fucking camera and skin it alive in front of you. Boys have not been taught this. It's less common in the media to see men really coping with these emotions. So you using media as an example. You know, it's true when men are presented in media, but when it comes to women, it's just not true. This double standard is amazing. Instead, you see them calling their ex a crazy bitch, and sometimes, more times than we would like to admit, it gets violent. Not just in a punching way, but in a rapey way, in a stalky way. Because men do this shit all the fucking time when they get rejected. In a harassy way, in really not okay ways. Sometimes the girl's not gonna like you, and it's okay to cry over it. It's okay to wallow a little bit. That's like a really core aspect of the human experience. Just as long as you're not too human. What's not okay is calling a woman a crazy bitch when she rejects you. Even though it's within our rights to call any woman a crazy bitch. Like you! You're a crazy bitch! So that is how we teach boys not to rate. If you liked this video, thumbs it up, subscribe to my channel, check out my blog in the description below, and I will see you next Tuesday. I'm glad this video's over because now I gotta go shit some Brits out. I don't even know what a Brit is, but I'm going to do so. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.